This quick guide video shows how a wideband tympanometry measurement with Titan is performed. The procedure of measuring a wideband tympanogram is in fact very similar as for measuring traditional tympanograms. Let's go over the complete procedure. Make sure that Titan is switched on and connected to the computer. In the software select a wideband tympanometry protocol. Next ensure that you have the correct age of the patient displayed in WBT the data field. This is not only important for viewing the correct normative data, also below and above the age of 6 months a different calibration set is used. If opening from Auto Access or NOAA, then the patient demographics will be correctly selected in the software automatically. After having performed otoscopy, you may insert the probe into the ear. Select an appropriate ear tip that allows inserting the probe while sealing the patient's ear canal. In order to avoid probe movements during the measurement, try not to hold the probe during the measurement. In case you do, try to hold the cable end rather than the probe. This will least influence the measurement. Start the measurement by pressing the start button in the software, the space bar, or by pressing the shoulder box button. The probe then produces a wideband click at a rate of 21.5 Hz. The pump now builds up pressure. Data begins to appear on screen as soon as the positive starting pressure is reached. The pump moves the pressure back to the ambient pressure and continues to the negative stop pressure. By now you can see a mountain of data on the screen. It consists of tympanograms for many frequencies. After the measurement the data processing is completed and the graph is updated accordingly. The question which you may have at this stage is how do I interpret the 3D graph? Although you will learn over time to recognize if this graph represents normal or abnormal middle ear function, you do not need to make interpretations from the 3D graph itself. The data most commonly used for interpretation is displayed in the tympanogram step and the absorbances step. Separate quick guide videos cover these screens in more detail. This concludes this quick guide video brought to you by Intraacoustics Academy. Other information on wideband tympanometry can be found at academy.intraacoustics.com.